What is going on? It's Styler here and in this video I will review the Jayu S3 Advanced with 3GB RAM and built-in NFC. I got the phone from gearbest.com and as always remember also to check out the video description for more details. So there are two versions out of the Jayu S3, the basic version and the advanced version. The difference between these two is that the advanced has 3GB RAM and NFC while the basic only has 2GB RAM and no NFC. But because the price is so close to each other on these two now, I currently recommend the advanced version. The S3 comes with the 64-bit MTK6752 octa-core chipset clocked at 1.7 GHz, 3GB RAM, 16GB ROM, built-in NFC, a 5.5-inch Full HD 1080p screen with Gorilla Glass, Android 4.4.4, dual sim and of course support for 4G LTE. Ok, let's have a look what you actually get together with the phone. So first of all, of course the wall charger from Jayu and this one is a 5 volt 1000 mAh. Then you get also the micro USB cable. Then there's also included here a screen protector so you don't scratch the screen and we also have here an English user guide and some papers here in Chinese and uh, if you want to see more you can also check out the full unboxing video you'll find that on my channel so uh, here we see the phone and we see here the nice design so on the back we find a 13 megapixel Sony IMX 214 rear sensor and on the front we have here a 5 megapixel Samsung front camera. So what we see here on the back together with the camera is a dual LED. And this one here is uh, very bright I would say. We have here also a nice plastic back cover here. You see there is a little bit of texture on the back. We see the Jayu logo here in silver. And we see here the rear speaker and behind this we will actually find two speakers so on this side we find the volume rocker together with the power button in the bottom we find here a small cut cutout so you can uh, pull off the back cover we have here the micro USB port together with the microphone on this side here we find nothing it's just plain so on the top we find a noise cancelling microphone you see it here together with the 3.5 mm headphone jack so on the front you notice that the screen here is really really black and you barely see the bezels in the sides. In the top we of course find here the light and proximity sensor. We have the front facing camera on 5 megapixels together with the earpiece and there is also a notification LED. So we have here a 5.5 inch full HD IPS screen and uh, we also find here real uh, Gorilla Glass and you really feel it's Gorilla Glass because uh, the surface here is really really smooth. Below here we will find three touch buttons and um, home, menu and back. And uh, they also have backlight but the back backlight is not that strong but uh, strong enough so when it's dimmed or you're in a dark room you actually see these buttons uh, very clearly. Let's turn the phone 360 degree and let's see the design all around so it's a very nice phone as you notice okay and uh, let's also have a look inside the back side so the back cover can be a little bit tight to get off but you see it here and uh, inside here we will actually find here the, the center and receiver for the NFC. So you see here this will uh, go and have contact with some pins on the back side here. Below here we will also have the serial number and the EMI number. Of course we also see the Jio logo and the model number. Let's have a look here. So in the top we find the rear camera together with the LED flash and uh, what you also notice is that here we have the two pins 
that will connect to the NFC receiver and sender in the back cover. We here also find two SIM slots because it's dual SIM, so this one here can use two micro SIM cards. Right now I'm using SIM 1 with an adapter, as you see here. Uh, and the phone also support micro SD cards here. This is the TF card slot here. And we see here the battery here is on 3000 to 3100 mAh. So it's a really big battery in this phone. Also we notice here the dual speaker design here. So there are two speakers, but um, I did a small stereo test and actually when the, the left sound was only supposed to be played, I also heard that in the right speaker. So um, I don't think that uh, these are playing a real stereo sound out, but uh, the stereo sound is just coming uh, together out in both of these channels here. But still, it's very nice that we have two of these. So now I'm going to turn on the device. We see here the Jiu logo and uh, also notice that the screen here is still really really black in the background. So see, we see here a small animation from Jiu. So we are now on the lock screen and the phone support different custom lock screens and themes. And uh, here you see I'm using here the diamond style lock screen. We also know that from LG and uh, it's really nice. And uh, one thing you can do here is to hold the home button and this will automatically activate the LED flash. You see it here. And uh, the LED flash is kind of strong. I would say it's a dual LED and uh, it is brighter than uh, what I have seen on other Chinese phones but still nothing near what you find on for example Samsung or HTC but let's just unlock normally here okay so here you see the UI and right now I'm using a special uh, live wallpaper but uh, you see here the theme here uh, it's a built-in theme in the phone from the beginning and the themes are here, you can see, let's just have a look inside. We have here, for example, grass, lights, pink, sky, smart, star tracks, and so on. And default system. So there are different styles and um, uh, types of icons you can choose here. And together with the theme, um, the notification toggles here also change the style here of how this looks will also change together with the theme. Let's just check out the UI and the speed. So as you notice here, it's really snappy and fast. And uh, right now I'm using a 60 frames per second live wallpaper. So of course this is also something that will use some extra power and resources. But you see it moves together when I tilt the phone. Let's have a look inside the app drawer. Let's just check the speed here. Also very smooth and fast here. Let's just check here. So here you can, for example, go directly to the settings, wallpaper, scroll effects, set the default screen or add widgets. Let's try add widgets. So here you see normal widgets, music widgets or camera widgets. Right now these two are activated on a dedicated page. Normal widgets, let's just have a look here. Nice. And the ded dedicated uh, widgets are these you see here. Okay, and uh, this is the camera, let's just activate. So here you can take pictures directly. Okay. And uh, also here you can directly play movies. You can, for example, go to the player here directly here for videos, pictures. 
or the normal full camera app. Okay, so let me also show you here the menu buttons here. And these actually have backlight. It's really, really hard to see right now. So let me turn off the light a little bit. So now the light is off and uh, it's really hard to see here in the video, but uh, trust me, there is light here in the buttons and you see it here. It looks really, really low here in the video, but uh, in real life, it's actually uh, perfectly fine to see when it's dark. So here in the video, it looks a lot lower than it is in reality. So the S3 here also support different smart features and off-screen gestures. So for example, the double tap, of course, is supported. So you can wake the screen, but uh, it also support, for example, uh, off-screen gestures. So you can, for example, draw an M. And you will start up the music player, you see it here. And um, what you also can do is to unlock with air gestures. So when you're here, you can just wave your hand and it will unlock like this. You don't have to touch the screen at all. And uh, of course, air gestures uh, are also supported here in the launcher here. So let's try. Two directions, we see. Let's try up and down. Yeah. Also supported here. So up, it will not seems only to the side okay and uh, my version here also came pre-installed with the play store you see the play store here let's just open up and check you see it here really nice and uh, you can see that the the rom comes with the built-in play store because i'm having here the build version called s3 sw see it here so this version here comes with the original Play Store in, inside the firmware. Another pretty convenient uh, thing is that you can slide up here from the bottom and here you can directly change the brightness of the screen. We see here, this is the lowest, the brightest, and uh, we also see you can enable and disable Wi-Fi, flight mode, Bluetooth, and so on. Let's go to the settings and let's see we have here inside the security, I believe it is security, yeah. We have here a lock screen. Here yeah. and uh, here you see different themes supported by the phone. So you can set for example here uh, this uh, water drop also known from uh, LG or iOS 7 style here galaxy 5 style and so on you can also use this like particles so there are many different styles i'm using right now the star diamond here and uh, let us check out the viewing angles so let's see here first with the light on so here you already notice pretty good viewing angles it, it's a little bit hard to see now here in the light so let me turn off the light now Okay, so here the light is off. Let's check again. Very good viewing angles from the sides. You also see the text really sharp and clear. And uh, here with the light off, uh, let's also test out the LCD test here. See the red color, blue, green, black and uh, in the black you see there is no kind of back bleeding in the corners so the black values are really good let's check out here the multi-touch test to see what it supports let me try first with five fingers yeah it's supported let's try with five more so we see up to 10 points are supported here that's really really good and nice i think so the S3 is using Gorilla Glass and the glass indeed seems to be pretty thick and the surface of the glass is also pretty smooth to touch. Let's have a look now on the reception and Wi-Fi signal here. So you see the Wi-Fi is in top. My network reception on 3G is also pretty good. 
and uh, let me try now to disable the Wi-Fi enable the data here mobile data connection let's see what we get here so you notice here 3G and it's on H plus speed so that's good so the R you see in the front is because my SIM card is swimming on um, on another network here but um, normally you will not have this R just the 3G H maybe or H plus let's try to open up the browser so right now still on uh, H plus here uh, when I click here you can see this keyboard here this one I installed myself uh, this is just the Google keyboard from the Play Store so uh, everyone can install this and uh, use this uh, there are three or four themes you can choose from and uh, I like this style here but uh, the phone comes uh, normally just with the stock uh, Android keyboard but uh, this one here also supports the swipe so I can swipe around here let's try here eBay for example you see here let's open up and uh, what you also notice is that it will show the, the speed here in the top so that's also a nice thing here so we see here eBay here right now loading the pictures and uh, it's okay fast here you see so the phone uh, also support notification LED but um, unfortunately only in two colors uh, red and uh, green uh, there is no support for blue colors let me just show it here let's enable the light manager test and we see here in red let's try here for example in green and of course uh, I have set this to flash really fast now uh, the flash rate one second normally it will not flash that fast but let's try also the blue so you see in blue there is no support no blue colors but in most cases this is also enough okay so here in the settings let's go inside I uh, also want to show you here we have support for NFC you can see it here let's go back and uh, we also have here support for tap and pay pay with just and tap okay and let's see we also have here quick and general so these are just the quick settings we see here in general so let's see here we have the NFC that I just showed you and uh, let's see we have also display let me just scroll down so we have some settings here you can enable or disable the quick actions from the bottom we have the global search bar this one you can also disable that's a nice thing quick torch from the lock screen notification net speed here in the top and so on so there are a lot of different settings there we have the drop zone setting so this is some kind of shortcuts here you can move this around you can open a video in a window here go to the desktop open the music player for example here play music directly and it also support here different fonts so here you can the download some online or you can use local fonts on the phone so we also have the gesture sensing let me just very quickly show these we have the smart wake off-screen gestures here the storage let's have a look totally we have a 16 gigabyte phone storage in one big partition it also support SD cards of course up to 64 gigabyte and let's have a look here on the RAM usage so we see here the RAM usage is pretty high here on this version here but we see almost 2 gigabyte free almost one is used totally we have here about three gigabyte but I saw that there is coming a fix an update that should make the RAM consumption a little bit lower but currently I'm using the old firmware still so that's why it's a little bit high here but uh, the UI and the phone is still very smooth so inside security we also find some interesting stuff here for example we have the super user you can enable this directly so here you will have here for example for root checker you can uh, grant permission for apps 
so you don't have to use uh, any special uh, hacks or tools to boot this phone very nice language and input of course this phone here support almost all kind of languages here let me just scroll very quick through these and we also have the developer options here let's see in about phone support the wireless updates over there and we also here have the model number android version kernel version and build number as told before the s3 sw here is the one incl uh, that includes the play store in the firmware it is real kitkat here on this phone here so let's just go back so uh, that's it for the settings let's have a look now on the camera and uh, the camera on this phone here is really nice um, the only thing i must say is that the video camera uh, in the current firmware that i'm using right now is not that good uh, it's it's like the sharpness is too much when you are recording videos but uh, according to Jayu they are working on a fix that will also be released over the air soon but let me just show you here we have for example here the picture in picture mode so here you can see yourself with the front facing camera together with the, the rear camera activated and this one you can move around also a very nice feature actually we also have support of course here for the filters there, different color filters. Okay, and uh, let me just try here one picture. You can see the autofocus is working by itself here. Let's have a look. So this, you see the details here are very sharp and nice. A very detailed picture here. Let's have a look inside here the settings. Let me just scroll through these. They are very standard here. Let's check here the picture size. We see can go up to 13 megapixels in widescreen. see in video and uh, let me just show you the details here on the picture so let's go inside here details so what you notice here is that the aperture is 2.0 let me just activate the front facing let's have a look here so you see the front facing camera is very good we see the text here very sharp and clear a very good front facing camera so uh, let me try out the bluetooth we have here a bluetooth speaker here and let me try to connect so it's connected Fine, and uh, let me also test out the USB on the go, the OGG. So here we have the OGG cable with the USB stick. So let me just try to put this. Yeah, and we see it's found here as external USB storage. So let me just click cancel here. Uh, and another thing I want to show here is in the quick toggles, actually, you will see it says Inatech here BP2001 shows uh, the name of the device connected so that's also a nice thing see here the external USB storage let's go to other pictures so these are the pictures on the USB stick let's just say always here and let's scroll through these working great here you see and fast also Let's try out some music now and the music will of course be played through the Bluetooth speaker here in the back.
so you can hear and see that this is working really good let me try to disconnect the speaker here and let's try out the sound through the, the rear speakers Okay, so as you can hear, it's pretty loud, um, but um, it's not that clear, I would say. I would say the, the quality is average, it's not bad, it's not super good, also not, but um, in the middle, I would say. Regarding the sound through the 3.5mm headphone jack here, uh, the quality is uh, really nice, I think, and uh, the volume is also good. So there are no issues uh, using uh, headphones with this phone here. So uh, let me now try a test call. Press one to change your Here you see the proximity sensor. It's working fast and good. Let's try the earpiece. Options. Press two. To create or change your personal greeting, press one. To change your pin, press two. Okay, so you can hear the earpiece is also loud and clear. Now I'm going to run some different test apps and a game. I will turn up a little bit for the background music, so check it out.
Okay, so I'm going to test out the NFC and I have a picture here on this phone. Let's see. We hear the sound. And let me click here. And we see incoming beam. Okay, so we see it's complete. And we see the picture. So the picture has been sent from this phone to this phone with the NFC. You see it works perfectly good. Okay, so here you see the S3 compared with the HTC M8 and the Xiaomi M4. So you see here how big the phone is compared to these two others. And uh, it is a big device because it's a 5.5 inch. So we are now in the end of this review and I will now list some of the pros and cons. So first to the pros. It has a very good full HD IPS display, good colors and good viewing angles. Overall it has a pretty good build quality even though the shell is made of plastic. The camera does take some pretty good pictures, especially in daylight. It has good performance, doesn't get that hot in games and the UI is very smooth to operate. Also the sound quality with earphones is really good. The rear speaker is loud but the quality is in my opinion only average. The phone is using one of the new 64-bit MediaTek chipsets and handles games and multitasking pretty well and with 3GB RAM it was always very smooth to operate. The phone supports many sensors like gyroscope, linear acceleration and rotation vector so it can also work with for example the Google Cardboard. So to the cons are that the video recordings with the rear camera is looking very strange like there is too much sharpness. But I heard that Jiu are soon releasing a software fix for that. The two rear speakers doesn't provide true stereo sound. In a stereo sound test the sound with the left channel was also played through the right channel. The touch buttons have backlight but it's very weak. Also the notification LED is only in red and green. There are no blue color. I noticed that the phone charges pretty slow, but some also say that slow charging is what keeps a battery healthy, so this can be good or bad. The RAM consumption in the firmware I have now is pretty high, but according to info from Jiu, they will soon release an update that should fix that. Still I must admit that it runs very smooth. So uh, that's it for the review, remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching, see ya.